Using text in Silhouette Studio is one of the easiest way to create your own designs. But in order to do that, you're going to want some fancy fonts. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You've found your way to Silhouette Success. If you enjoy tutorials on the software and some project inspiration, this is the place for you. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Now today's video is no frills, no fluff, no projects, just information that you can learn today and use going forward. We're going to explore where to get the best fonts, including the free ones. We're going to go over um, font installation and exactly how to use them in Silhouette Studio to get the biggest bang for your buck. Now, if everyone is ready to learn something new, let's do this. Let's start with the good stuff. The best places to get free fonts. Honestly, there are free fonts available all over the web. However, you want to be sure that they come with a license that will cover you for the intended use. If you're using the free files to create personal items, you shouldn't have any problems. If you plan to use the fonts commercially in any way, you only want to download fonts that have a commercial license that you can download and save to your computer. I know a lot of people use Defont, which is free for personal use, and they have a huge selection. Just be aware that if you want to sell your products, you will need to purchase a license from Defont. Fontbundles.net has a large free section, and all of their free files come with a commercial license. There's no extra steps, no stress, just download and use for personal or commercial use. Next up is Creative Fabrica, which is my personal go-to. They also have free files with commercial licenses ready for you to download and use. I decided to sign up for a membership at Creative Fabrica because of their selection of fonts, and I have not regretted it once. I'll put a link in the description for a free trial so you can see if it's a good fit for you. You can also purchase fonts from the Silhouette Store, but they are pretty expensive if you check the commercial use box. Click on the store tab, click on fonts and see all of the fonts. Click on the one that you want and this window will open up. At this point, you need to decide if you want to use it personally or commercially and either add it to your cart or use the express checkout if you have credits available. Now let's move on to downloading and installing these new fun files. I'm going to grab this file here because spooky season is right around the corner. Just click on the download button and it will be saved in the downloads folder on your computer. Open that up, head to the top of the screen and select extract all. It's going to ask where you'd like to save the extracted files I typically just opt for the downloads folder again and we can move them later. The unzipped folder will typically pop up on its own. Now, when working with fonts for Silhouette, you'll typically come across two different types. Here we're looking at OTF or open type font and TTF true type font. Both will work fine in Silhouette Studio. But if you have the choice to install OTF, use that one. I'm not going to go into the technical differences right now, but OTF is the more modern file type. You can remember which file to open by equating OTF to open this font and TTF to trash this font. So in the unzipped folder, double click on the OTF file that you want to install and this page will pop up. Click on install and the font will be installed on your computer. At this point, you can delete the unzipped folder and move the zipped folder to a different location for safekeeping. I'll be moving mine to an external hard drive as I am in the process of cleaning up my hard drive now. I bought a two terabyte hard drive for my downloads and I'll put a link in the description for that as well. But I'll cover keeping your hard drive clean in another video. Okay, 
The font is now installed on your computer. If Silhouette Studio was open when you installed the font, you'll need to close it down and reopen it for that font to appear in your textile panel. You can see here that Spooky Halloween is not available to me at this time in Silhouette Studio because the program was open at the time I installed the font. If Silhouette Studio was not open at the time of installation, simply open the program and you'll be ready to go. Once you have a large collection of fonts, choosing the right one for your design can become tedious. I have over 700 fonts and finding the right one in Silhouette Studio really can be a nightmare. You can select your text, open up the textile panel, click on a font and scroll through, but be aware that this sometimes crashes the program. If you already know which font you're going to use, you can simply type the name up here in this box and then enter. If you have no idea what you're going to use, your best bet is to go over to Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer and install the wordmark.it extension. This will allow you to type in the text that you want to use in your design and see all of the fonts just by scrolling down. This is quicker and easier and it won't crash the software in the middle of a project. Once you find what you're looking for, click back over to Silhouette Studio and enter the name of the font. Many fonts come with extra characters called glyphs. These will usually add extra tails and swooshes and curlicues to letters that will make the text look fancy. If you're running Designer Edition or higher, you can find all of the glyphs here in this panel. If you're running Basic Edition, you'll need to use the search window in your taskbar to find the character map and use the glyphs from there. I do hope that was helpful. If you've learned something new today, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me. It helps me out a ton and it helps to push the video out into the YouTube universe so that more crafters can find it. This video topic was requested by a subscriber and I am more than happy to help out in that way. If you have something that you're unsure of, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will do whatever I can to help out. Now, if you are in the mood to watch a few more videos, you're going to definitely want to check this one out here. If you're done with YouTube for today completely, go create something amazing with text and I will see you in the next video.